Welcome back guys to another YouTube video. It's Sam and today we're doing something special, really nice. It's with a phone number and we're going to use Python for this. So what are we doing? We're basically going to use your phone number to be able to track your location. And when we got the location, we'll actually try and display it on a map. And we'll be using libraries like Folium, Geocoder, and also phone numbers. So yeah, this is going to be interesting and you know what? Enough blabbing, let's get to it. So the first thing you need to do is open PyCharm. And when you've opened PyCharm, what you need to do next is actually go to your file and open a new project or create a new project. I'm not going to create a new project because I already have one. And when you create a new project, what I want you to do next is that you will have exactly what I have right now displayed on your screen. And when you have that, I want you to go to the file name that you just created and you right click and you see this new year, you hover on it and then you can get this other options and you click on Python file. So we're going to create a new Python file. In this case, I'm going to give this Python file name number location. Now this Python file name is number location. And the next thing we're also going to do is I want us to actually create another Python file. So you do the same thing, right click new Python file. And here I'm going to call this. And in this file, I'm, I'm going to call this file your number. I'm going to call this file my number. And I'm using camel notation. So now you should have two Python files. You should have the first one, which is number location.py and also my number.py. And now what are we going to do in my number.py? In my number.py, what we're going to do is just create a number. So we say number, and we say equal to create a string, replacing the number that you actually want to track. So in our case, I've placed it here. And that's all you do for your my number.py. You could call this anything as far as you know what it is and actually can use it here. The next thing I want you to do is actually go to your terminal over here, click on it, click on your terminal like this, and I want you to install this pip install phone numbers. And you press enter. It's going to take longer if you've never installed pip install numbers. In my case, I've already installed it, so that's why it took a little bit faster. You come back to your terminal on the number location.py and what we'll do here is we'll import we'll import phone numbers and just like that the next thing we want to do is actually we want to take this number from here and the way we do that is that we need to get the file so we say from my number import number so you can see here, we basically said from this file right here, which is my number, I want you to import number. And number is what is right here. And after importing numbers from the file, my number, we need to import something else. We need to say from phone number, from phone numbers, import geocode, geocoder. So now we've imported from phone numbers geocoder and we've imported numbers from my numbers file. Number. We say SAM number. We're basically we're creating a variable and we say just call it SAM number. You can call it whatever you want. SAM number is equal to phone number dot parse. And then we say number. And then we say, create another variable. I'll call this your location. And we'll make it equal to geocoder dot description, description for number. Make it, so we say your location is equal to geocoder dot description for number. And then say here, SAM number, put that as 
put as one of the inputs and then we also put the language we want it to which is English EN and now if we print your location and run it you can see we get United Kingdom run it we get Spain you can even use the number so you can see we don't only get the country names we could also get cities inside and you can see here we get Alicante this is a province in Spain so you don't only get the country's name like Spain or the UK or all that you can also get cities in there you could get New York we could get Alicante as we got right here. So yeah, that's that part. So now we've actually been able to do this. The next thing is that I want us to be able to also find out the service provider. So the service provider of that number, of this number. And the way we do that is, oh, I'm just going to put a comment here and say, get service provider. And what we do is we say from phone numbers, from phone numbers, import carrier. And after that, we say service. We create a variable name and I'll call it service provider. It's a really long variable name. You can use something shorter. Then we say phone numbers dot parse number dot I'm gonna say number the next thing we print and inside we say career dot name for number you should get that as I got it right here and so we say service provider and we also say the language EN so now this number here doesn't have a service provider because it's an online number so yeah I can use this number right here you can see we get Nigeria 9 mobile so we got the service provider of this number you can put another number you see we get Leica mobile United Kingdom so that's the location of that number and also the service provider of the number. But you know what? I want us to add some other stuff to this. I want us to be able to actually get the latitude and longitude and put this on the map. And the way we do that is we say from open cage dot geocoder. import open open cage geocoder yeah this should be capital capital open okay this is open cage geocode not geocoder so that's why the error was there so it said open cage geocode so now we just write geocoder. We say geocoder is equal to open cage geocode. And here right now we need to put a key. So I'm just going to say, I'm just going to put key in there. And the way you get this key is that you go to this website right here, open cage data. 
and you create an account and when you create a, an account you should get to this place right here and when you've gotten to this place you click on API keys and then you copy this API key right here that you get and after you've done that you just come right here you could put it up here and you say key is equal to this API key You can also put it in quotes because we want it to be a string. And after that, we say query is equal to str your location. And then we say result. Our results is equal to geocoder dot geocode and so I will put query and now if we were to print this result results right here you can see that we get a dictionary with different data inside it but what we need right here is this latitude you can see the key and the value and you can see the longitude the key and also the value. So this is what we want. And the way we get that is, we say lat is equal to result, and then zero inside it, square bracket zero inside it, say geo, geometry, and also lat and just gonna copy oops just gonna copy that and I change the lat to long and side long now if I comment out this because I don't need all that data right there and now I just say print, I say lat and longitude, I say lat and longitude. You can see right here now we have the latitude and longitude of the place where we got our number from. So from the number, we got the location of the number and then from the location, we got now we have the latitude and longitude of that location. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to import folium. So right here I'll put import folium. And it's install folium. You can see right here the package is being you can see right here the package is being installed. What you're gonna write here is you write um my my map is equal to folium dot map with a capital and then we say location is equal to in square brackets lat and then a comma long and after that we create the zoom the zoom start I'll make that equal to 9 and before we actually save the file inside a HTML file the next thing we do is we I want to put a marker, so we say folium dot marker. Then we use lat and then long and then we use the pop pop up. 
your location and this pop-up right here is going to actually show up on the marker so when you click on the marker the pop-up will show and we're using your location because if you remember your location is the name of our location that we got from actually our number so you can see that we're using actually every every information we have on this code then we say dot add add to my map so we're adding this marker to our map that we just created here now the last thing is I'm just gonna comment it here save map in HTML file and the way we do that is we say my map dot save and then we give the file a name and we'll say I'll give it a name of my location dot HTML now we save this yeah this is, should be a dot not a comma so we save it and yeah if you click right here on projects now you see my location dot html and when you click on my location dot html you see you can use it for any browsers you want i'm using chrome of course you click on chrome and now you can see this is the location on the map scroll back to see see great britain great britain like i'm about the latitude and longitude and we also have the location on the map so yep that's it for this tutorial hopefully you learned from it if you did leave a like subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave them down below and yeah i'm gonna wrap things up and keep things moving see you in the next youtube video